Welcome to Written by a Kid, audio dramatizations of stories written by students in grades 3 and 4 at Robert Kemp Turner Elementary School. And transformed into radio plays by students in the Drama 11-12 class at Kalarb District High School. In this episode, we hear from Ren. And now sit back, relax, and get ready for Sam the Computer. My name is Ren. My story is called Sam the Computer. Once there was a smart computer named Sam. He was so good, he gave away free balloons. He was a small green laptop. He is a very nice computer. He loved helping people. And every day he helped people. He made a helping people business. He put up signs that say, help people. He picked up trash. Until one day, Sam made a copy of him. But the copy was evil. Copy's name was Spike. Spike was a big red laptop that had iron back printed on top of him. And Spike wanted to make people miserable. Because of that, Spike prevented Sam from helping people. Spike stole people's purses. Sam tried to stop Spike, but he couldn't. And just when Sam was going to give up, he saw a big stick. Because of that, Sam picked up this big stick. The stick was long, pointy, and full of spikes. The stick was perfect. Sam got his aim right. Because of that, Sam smashed Spike multiple times with the stick. Sam whacked Spike in the head, and on the keyboard, he got smashed up and down. He got smashed side to side, until finally, Spike broke. His motherboard was broken. His top was smushed. The only thing left of him was letters from his keyboard saying, I will be back. Ever since then, Sam helped people. He helped old ways cross the street. He helped people with groceries. He picked up more garbage than before. The end. Once there was a smart computer. His name was Sam, and he was such a good computer. He helped a lot of people. I am so tired from work today. I help many people, but I love helping people, so it's okay. (sighs) I should get to sleep. Wait, I have to check tomorrow's schedule and see what I have to do. So my calendar says that I have to pick up trash tomorrow. It's going to be hard work. I have to get up early tomorrow because of that. Let's get to sleep. Good job today to me. (sighs) The next day he woke up on time so that he could wake up. I slept so well. Let's get the work done. He found that there's too much work to do, but he has to get it done by the end of the day. Too much work. It makes me frustrated. Hmm. I should make a helper by using my file. Maybe I need two helpers. I like yellow and blue. Let's make that laptop. I should name them Lucy and Bob. Lucy is a yellow laptop and Bob is a blue laptop. Hi, everyone. Finally, I was made by you. Thank you so much, Sam. Hi, uh, I am Bob. Nice to meet you. Hi, Lucy and Bob. I want you guys to help me. That is why I made you guys. It's nice to meet you guys. Sam shows and teaches them how to work. I don't think we can finish this work by the end of the day. So much to do. No talking. Just use your computer. Sorry. I will do my best. At noon, they have some lunch and they are talking. Sorry I was rude to you, Lucy. I also think I should make one more helper. I made a red laptop. His name is Spike. Hi, everybody. I'm glad to see you. Everyone except Spike thought Spike seemed not good. They thought something was going to happen. Let's get the work done. Ah, uh, ah, uh, this is so funny. What are you watching? You must help us. Uh, 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 uh. While they were working, suddenly there was no noise and sound. Why is it so quiet? As he looked around him, nobody was there. Where are they? Wait, I can hear something. Uh, uh, hey, come here, hey, guys. Hey, 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 you, Spike. Uh, what are you doing? Oh, well. Are you kidding me? You can't steal them away from me. He isn't listening. He grabbed the stick that was on top of the shelf. Hey, Spike, you have to let them go right away. Otherwise, you are going to be messy. Oh, well, I am ready to have a fight. I don't think you're going to win against me anyway. You never know. I am stronger than you. As Spike jumped on Sam, <laughs> Sam's stick attacked Spike's laptop. How dare you! You can't do that to me! 
but I am still flying. How about this? Spike tried to jump from another direction again. <laughs> After that, Sam attacked his laptop again using a stick. <laughs> ah! Here we go. You can't blame me anymore. I don't need you anymore either. Spike kept screaming, Ugh. and he was squashed by Sam finally. <sighs> Sam thought the fight was over, but he found Spike's screen. What is this? The keyboard was typed. I will be back. Oh, sounds scary, but I don't care anymore. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. We, we were saved, saved because, because of you. you. Let's, Let's get, get the, the work, work done. done. Let's get the work done. We, we have, have to hurry. hurry. They got done with their work by the end of the day, finally. Today was kind of a massive day, but you guys did a really good job. Thank you so much. Can you be my stuff for me from now on? Of course, yes. Ever since then, they helped each other a lot. They are proud of themselves and each other. They did a really good job and had a good time without knowing Spike would be back soon, as they almost forgot about Spike. Oh, well. The end. You've been listening to Written by Kid, radio play adaptations of stories created by students in Miss Wright's grade 3-4 class at Robert Kemp Turner Elementary School. And reimagined as radio dramas by Miss Arsenal's Drama 11-12 class at Cold Harbor District High School. And was recorded in December of 2020. This is a Halifax Regional Arts production.